Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to provide an update on our homeschool after completing week four. So this week, I really am starting to appreciate the flexibility that homeschool allows. We wanted to get out of the house while we weren't having to work and didn't have too much happening and while the weather is still nice. So we decided to go to the beach to try and see some of the beluga whales as they swam through. We did not get to see any whales. It was very windy and it wasn't super great for whale watching, but we did go and talk. We did take our little notebook, science notebook, um, and turn it into a little school field trip with some lessons. So we talked about things, we looked up information on our phones, and we talked about beluga whales. And then we had the kid write some notes about beluga whales. Um, another thing that came up this week, we had to help of uh, friends out suddenly and unexpectedly with a very urgent request. So that interfered with our ability to run our home homeschool schedule at the regular time. But we took some materials with us in the car. So the kid was working on some independent work while we were helping and we finished up with some of the other activities later when we got back at a different time. So again, really appreciating the flexibility that homeschool allows because we are not having to stick to a certain schedule and then do things on a certain timeline. So when it became apparent that we weren't going to get to stuff, we're just like, that's okay. We'll get to it tomorrow or next week. We did finish up the week, so we did actually get things done eventually. We sort of um, spread things out a little bit differently. And then on Friday, um, when it was homeschool with dad day, they took a more leisurely approach, and I think they spent more time, but with a lot more breaks. So, you know, it, that worked. And that flexibility is something that I sort of knew existed, but hadn't really benefited from yet. And so already seeing how that can relieve the stress of trying to get things done um, by having that flexibility. I'm, I'm really appreciating that this week. So some of the other things that we did this week, um, last week I think I mentioned that the Spanish was maybe moving a little fast. So we're going to kind of do a review week. So we started doing a bit of a review. We found some videos on kids YouTube that are great and focused around um, Spanish phrases. Um, we found some worksheets that I could download for free and we put uh, Spanish captioning or Spanish, but then with English captioning on some of the videos that the kid watches. And we started going back over some of the Rosetta Stone lessons. So I think we're going to continue that as far as continuing to do a review over what we've covered in Spanish before we move forwards. We did start the new, um, well, new for us, the geography and culture section that goes along with the curriculum, the Blossom and Root curriculum that we have been doing. They have an optional geography and culture. We didn't have the book. We now have the book. So we're starting that. And so far, I really like it. It's focused around um, creation stories from different religions. So that is interesting, and we're going to look at that and tie it in with geography. I've got a couple of other things that I've ordered um, along those lines, culture and geography. So that's sort of still a, a work in progress, but I suppose it can be a work in progress for the whole school year. Um, the other things that we're adding is just spending more time with sort of that science journaling component. It's built into the Blossom and Root curriculum, but we hadn't really been doing it that much. So uh, starting to focus a little bit more on that aspect, uh, writing down our observations, practice making notes about what you're learning. Um, it's also good handwriting practice and just writing practice in general. So 
we're doing that more. And then something else that I'm trying to get started is maybe some pen pals. So being able to practice writing letters, we're gonna start with family members because we don't live close to any of our family. So we're gonna start with family members and then branch out from there. So we are trying to add in that writing letters uh, for pen pals. So other than that, I think we're going to stick with what we've got so far. There are a few things that I still have ordered that will come in in the future. And when they do, we'll try and incorporate those. But really this week, just appreciating the flexibility that we have to be able to switch things up when we need to and spend more time on things when we want to. So thanks for watching.